Hi, my name is Walid Al-Saudi from FEV Software and Testing Solutions. As a Solutions Manager for Virtual Testing and Calibration, today I will be presenting for you our X in the Loop solutions and more specifically our XCAR product, dedicated for vehicle simulation in real time. Imagine that you have a knee powertrain test bench and you want to expand the testing possibilities of this e powertrain test bench with the introduction of vehicle simulation on the test bench. Here at FEV, we have made a mock-up of this e-powertrain. As you can see here, with this mock-up of e-powertrain, we will come and introduce vehicle simulation using our new product, XCAR. On this application, XCAR will be simulating the whole vehicle, including the wheels, and will be simulating also the driver, which will be coupled then to this e-powertrain test bench. Now we have done it on a mock-up, Imagine that we can do it also on a real test bench of e-powertrain. XCAR will not be used only on e-powertrain test bench. It can be used also on different types of test bench, starting from engine, where we can couple it to complete vehicle. It can be also used on transmission test bench. It can be used also on powertrain test bench and also battery test bench and e-motor test bench. So that's why we call it X in the loop, we can use it on the whole range of test benches in order to simulate the remaining parts. So we have the unit under test, which is on the real test bench, and XCAR come to simulate the whole uh, components, remaining components in the powertrain. XCAR can be used with different type of automation system. If it's FEV automation system Morphe or another type of automation system, XCAR can be compatible and can be used using some communication protocol if it's Ethercat, CAN, and so on. In addition to this compatibility with different automation system, XCAR is also real-time compliant and real-time compatible. So with the communication of test bench, you can ensure that the models are running in real-time and that there is no overrun in the simulation so that the engine test bench keep running smoothly. After we talked about the compatibility of XCAR with different automation system and its real-time compliance, now I want to, to introduce you to uh, the capability of XCAR in simulating different type of powertrains, starting from conventional powertrain to hybrid with the different types of hybrid from P0 topology to P4 until reaching battery electric vehicles with reduction or not. So with this same simulation platform, you can simulate all different types of powertrains. Taking for example, if you have a knee motor test bench and you want to test your e-motor in different position of the powertrain, one day on P1, one day on P3 or P4, with XCAR, this is virtually possible. With the same e-motor and with the same test bench, and one application of XCAR, you can move your e-motor position from one to another and test different scenarios using this vehicle simulation. Test your e-motor capabilities, test your e-motor characteristics and expand the validation scope of your e-motor. So here I am now in front of our e-powertrain mockup, as if I'm in front of a real test bench. I will start our automation system, Morphe. Now, Morphe is operational and I can send some wheel speeds to the test bench. What I want to do is I want to simulate a complete vehicle using this real test bench. So we need to plug it with XCAR vehicle simulation. When you want to set up the XCAR application on your test bench for the first time, you need to go through some steps of commissioning. In our XCAR product, we have already developed some guidance of commissioning and some dedicated dashboards that guides you through the commissioning in step-by-step -step manner. It can start with the commissioning validations when you validate that XCAR and the test bench are communicating well the information until reaching the speed and torque response where you can validate that the engine test bench is able to reach the dynamic needs by, uh, by XCAR and until reaching the full hardware simulation. Once XCAR and 
The test bench are commissioned using XCard dedicated tool for commissioning. We can now start doing some simulations on the test bench. So when you start your simulation, you will get this first screen where you will have access to the main parameters of the simulation component. For example, the vehicle, the driver and the brake, the wheels, the electric machine. So now let's start the cycle. But before starting the cycle, first I need to launch the communication between XCAR and the test bench using the button. You will see that the light is still toggling between red and green, which means that the communication is established. Now I will go to screen number 2 and I will pick my cycle, for example WLTC cycle. And then I can start my cycle using the start button. To sum up, XCAR is your simulation tool at the test bench for all different types of test bench and also for all different types of powertrains. It offers a unique flexibility because it's compatible with different types of operating system and it's real-time compliant. I hope you enjoyed this video and this demo. Please feel free to ask me all your questions during the online seminar. And if not, please send me all your questions to my email just below. Thanks for watching.